Welcome to Lenton Lane, the home of Rugby League in Nottingham. Access to the ground is through the main entrance off Lenton Lane, which is just uh, less, than, less than a mile probably from the city centre. Access through secure gates into the car park. The car park itself is completely enclosed and secure and can house in the region of about 100 cars, including an area for coach parking. So we can get 100 cars into this car park. We can also park on the other side of the fence when the car park gets full. And this is the main entrance into the ground. I'll just show you one end here. This is the, the clubhouse uh, from one end. Uh, currently it's closed, obviously there's no game on. So nice and secure. All, the whole area of the ground is fenced off. And as you walk in, you come to the main entrance. Uh, there's a side gate there for disabled access and entrance for spectators is through the turnstile which takes you then through to the patio area and the clubhouse itself. We're standing in the centre of the Outlaws pitch, uh, Lenton Lane. The pitch is sited on something like six and a half acres of enclosed ground. You can see the fence around the ground, it's completely enclosed. Posts at one end, the pitch itself is uh, marked out to the maximum dimensions that you can have for a rugby league pitch, so it's a big playing surface. Uh, whilst it's a bit dry at the moment, the grass and the pitch is, is normally in excellent condition. It's an ex-football pitch, so the quality of the grass and the flatness is fantastic. Uh, surrounding the pitch are four floodlights, so two, two on one side and two on the other side of the ground. And looking across to the bottom, you can see the other posts. And then over in the corner there is the clubhouse. And you can see the other floodlights here. So a completely enclosed ground nice and secure and nice and quiet as well for match days so a great place to play and watch rugby league and uh, this ground is now a centre for rugby league activity in Nottingham and the East Midlands and just as you look across the side of the ground there you can see a small seated covered seated area and then looking over there you can see at the centre of the ground the centre of the pitch we've got a home and away dugout which I'll walk towards now you can see that the dugouts are a good size and have seating in them. And then as you look across, you see a small covered standing area, which again is great for spectators when it's raining or if the weather's not so good. There's the floodlights on the other side of the ground. And so two floodlights on one side and two on the other. And I'll just walk towards the, the dugouts. These are the covered areas for the players, which have seats and benches in them. And you can see part of the ground has been enclosed with a fence. Uh, we just recently, in the last week, received a grant to purchase some new fencing, which will completely segregate the whole perimeter of the pitch from the spectator area. So I'll walk towards the dugouts now. You can see this is the away dugout with seats and covers, and that's the home dugout. I'm currently standing at one end of the ground, so I'll just panorama around. You can see Here's the post and the in-girl area, the floodlights in the background, looking across the pitch to the far end. And then coming back around the pitch, you can see at the bottom end of the ground is a large grassed area which can be used for training, for floodlit training. Fence at the bottom of the ground. And then you can see from here the clubhouse at the bottom and a small patio area and an outdoor area. Uh, I'll take you in the clubhouse in a moment. And then pulling around we have a spectator toilet block uh, with, with male and female toilets, including disabled toilets. I'm standing at one end of the ground in the patio area, looking across the pitch. Again, you can see the seated and standing areas and the four floodlights. And as I spin around, you can see the entrance from the other side of the turnstile into the patio area. And this is the clubhouse, a set of double doors leading into the clubhouse here. At the moment the clubhouse is closed, normally the windows would be open and the doors would be open. Um, but you can see here there's a ramped disable access into the clubhouse. And also on the right hand side there, there's another entrance into the changing rooms or to the back side of the, the clubhouse. And you can see the full length of the clubhouse here. We've now entered into the clubhouse. I'll take you into the away team dressing room. You can see here we have some benching and uh, coat hangers where teams can get changed and we can quite easily fit a team of 17 in here during a home match, it's not a problem at all. So this is the away changing room with toilets, 
and leading through into the showers. Currently in the showers we have four shower heads for the away team um, but we're looking to extend this and improve this to probably six or seven shower heads. This is the home team changing room again almost a, a replica to the away team dressing room you have uh, easily um, sufficient Next to the changing rooms is the match official changing room which has its own shower and toilet facilities and obviously changing facilities for the referees. Come out of the changing rooms to go through the door and into the clubhouse, uh, entering on the stage area. We have a reasonable sized clubhouse and facilities um, where we sell merchandise and serve food and drinks after the game. The clubhouse itself can hold about 150 people, um, it's got quite a good footprint and uh, it's good for, obviously for after match entertaining. You can see at the bottom end there there's a fully equipped bar and next to it is a kitchen with uh, sort of normal kitchen utensils and cooking items. We can serve hot and, food, hot and cold food from the kitchen and uh, on a match day you can see the windows here, all the windows will be open. The double doors will be opened onto the patio, so it's a nice atmosphere on match days for walking in and out of the clubhouse, buying a beer, sitting outside and watching, uh, all on the same site, all nicely enclosed and secure.